All right, let's go to the next track. Jack Carlo and Dave. Dave from London, UK rap. Um, kind of interesting to see these two working together. Very unexpected, but from Lyrical Lemonade, they have a new video out called Stop Giving Me Advice. Let's check this out. Huh. Have you ever raised the value of everyone around you? Have you ever been so high they gotta down you? Think pieces getting written about you Have you ever been to Italy and eaten Italian? Have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Have you ever booked a club and came with a battalion? Have you been to Montana and seen the mountains? Have you ever looked around and felt a profound sense of pride? Have you ever had to hide where exactly you reside? Have you been to the Waffle House on North Side? Have you ever made a pop star wanna be your bride? Have you hugged someone and they cried? Have you had your heroes sit you down and give you the guide? Have you ever spoken something into existence or do you just talk about other people's lives? Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me. Stop giving me advice. Stop. All this unsolicited advice from the guys getting booked for a quarter of my price. All this red carpet shit, brand partnerships. I must have let y'all forget that boy nice. No sprite, but life giving me lemons with the limelight. It's fine, victory's mine. I lost the desire for being intimate at the end of my nights. I can do that at the end of my life. You know the phrase is business before pleasure. Cause I'm banking on it, bringing me more pleasure. The pressure makes diamonds, the diamonds make more pressure, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'll give you four more measures and more records with more effort than ever before. I'm the young and on the teen has got a veteran core. They know the formula, just give them space and let them record. And just remember what he said on the chorus. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me. Stop giving me advice. Stop. Stop giving me advice. Yeah. Stop giving me. Yeah. Stop giving me advice. Yeah. Stop. I know you feel love, feel shame, feel pride. I can see it in your eyes. I met a fan at work He told me it's his job on the side As if I'm unimpressed by his everyday life Niggas die every day, me, that's everyday life The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me When you've done as many flights as me Long nights as me Took as many left turns to make right as me I'm in the middle of the veil like a bride-to-be That's why I like to Yeah you left somebody that you love at the bottom of a mountain Cause they're afraid to climb it Have you changed your climate? Had her insta and made her change the private Had her fly economy and make her change the private Seen your nigga get nicked And then go and catch a case just like him Brought her to the game and she ain't excited Probably come my mum sat courtside Thought I did, am I sick? If I say I like women with mileage And trips to Knightsbridge Old Jemima Trips in a park with my oldest rider To test out the nine like I loaned a striker I'm a lone survivor and the way I spell loan is A-L-O-A-N I don't ever wanna spend on a hoe again But I'm a fucking feminist so I go again I'm on a roll again Yeah You can't control what the heart feels You soon go broke, I see you blowing it fast still Death row, you niggas down to your last meal You ever sign a seven figure deal on the bus? Yo, Dave is... <laughs> Dave is nice, bro Dave is actually super nice Um, I'm one of those who's never been a huge fan of like UK rapper or rappers i don't know i don't know if it's the accents i don't know if it's the delivery it was just something that never fully resonated with me but every time i've heard dave and like people have tried to really put me on like i've heard certain tracks and like i've liked pretty much everything i've heard from him like, he's got this unique flow this unique delivery and like this authenticity to him that really resonates with me and like he's nice bro like he's actually super nice and like he is a great representation for like uk rap and i think like him getting on this track with Jack Harlow, hopefully you only like push it more and more and get more attention with uh, other audiences, especially like within the US hip hop that may not be familiar with him. But like this dude is is nice, bro. It's like you really listen to what he's saying. The dude is nice. That's quill can't even call it breakfast car. It wasn't your first meal. Forgotten birthdays, but remember your verse still. Yeah. You ever fucked a supermodel and it sounds like skeletons dancing? Feel numb to the praise and the memories passing You ever rub someone and it sounds like asking Didn't have no food to you, disguise it as fasting Had drugs, abused perfume, trying to mask it You ever lived the life of an artist, escaping darkness Finds are you paying for parking You can tell how she fucked by the way that she glancing Your communication bad but you're rich so she's giving you chances And pretty women giving you dances I come with a pole but she more Olivia than Francis You ever been? Stop giving me advice Stop giving me Stop giving me advice. Stop. Stop giving me advice. Stop.
Stop giving me Stop giving me advice Stop That was tough. That was super tough. Um, Jack Harlow is certainly on a roll. Um, he's continuing to just kind of like prove himself more and more uh, with each new release that he is here to stay. And every time I think that he's going to go full pop, he kind of comes back and shows that he still got love for hip hop, that he's hip hop at the end of the day. And like his bars, his flows, everything is solid. And the production was super dope. Um, kind of that classic type of hip hop beat that you would want. And like, he continues to show off his versatility to go from like, let me know, or is it let you know what's it called? Um, no, loving on me to go from loving on me, which turned off into like this kind of big social media top forties hit to this is like, you know, you can't really put him in a box and he continues to show that. And like, he's got this great ability and versatility to tap into like all these different audiences. Now he's going to like UK rap and getting to like day, which I didn't see coming. I don't think a lot of people seen coming and didn't really know what to expect from like a collaboration between these two. But what we got from it was fire. Like it was super fire. Dave is fire. Jack Carlos was is fire too. And like the production is nice. You know, the cinematography is nice, obviously from Lyric Eliminate and Cole Bennett. Like everything is on point with this and it's exactly what you would want, especially if you are like a hip hop head. And I know Jack Harlow gets a lot of shit uh, for kind of being like pop rap, but he does always come back and show you that, no, he can actually do this. Like he can bar out, like he can actually do hip hop. And like he has the love for what the essence of hip hop is, which can't say for a lot of like these newer artists. So like I, I always appreciate it and love when he kind of comes back and does these type of records, even though he can still do hits and like, it's dope. This is a dope collaboration and crossover that I never expected to, to see or to enjoy as much as I did, but it's fire. 